Hi, this is Shadi. A few months ago in December, I attended a Satoshi Ishii seminar and he guided us through Nogi Judo basically. And at the end, there was like a little Q&A session and many asked him, how did you train when you were at your peak and when you were preparing for the Olympics? Uh, and he basically said the following. So the training was six days a week. It varied, but uh, when it comes to going to the gym, it actually is very simple. I'm sure you've seen a lot of these Japan team training, but he kept it to these very few things, posterior chain and lower body. So squats, deadlifts three times a week with bench pressing and some type of back exercise like rowing or pull-ups so this is done three days a week uh, Monday Wednesday and Friday now judo training and sparring was six days a week from Monday till Saturday and Sunday is off of everything now the days where you don't lift uh, weights it's usually about conditioning and uh, cardiovascular uh, endurance so he says running the stairs was very important uh, this is a very old tradition uh, in Japan for the athletes so as you've seen those rowing exercises that Ono is doing and the squatting or the cleans is pretty much uh, in line with what he said so you see here the running of the stairs uh, it was done mainly Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, the days where you don't lift weights. So it's actually very simple. So the foundation is very important, the legs and the posterior chain, because you're pulling, uh, also uh, doing bench presses for the pushing uh, movement, but it's mainly about pulling and the lower body, uh, the posterior chain and the lower body. So it's actually very simple and it uh, also confirms what Kotaro Sasaki said a year ago on our podcast when he talked about the training they used to have in Tokai University. So if you have anything to add, please let me know. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.